Hello and welcome to FSM News on the Road. I'm Melanie Johnson. And I'm Sterling Hill. This summer, FSM News will be on the road. We will be broadcasting to you from many different locations. This week, we're here live at Navy Pier. Stay tuned to FSM News. We have a lot more of entertaining stories from the pier coming your way. FSM News on the road. There are so many adventurous rides here at Navy Pier. From the famous Ferris wheel to the bike and roll, there is never any room for boredom here at Navy Pier. One of our FSM reporters went out to find the most exciting rides at Navy Pier. FSM's own Keith Reed has more on some of the thrillers. Right now, I'm standing in front of one of the main attractions at Navy Pier. The 150-foot tall Ferris wheel can be seen from miles away, from both the lake and from the city. But there are also many other great attractions to check out at the pier this summer. Take a look. The Ferris wheel has been around for over a century. It's not the most thrilling ride, but that's exactly why people enjoy it. I have been on the Ferris wheel one. It was nice. Many would say that the Ferris wheel is the most known ride at the pier, but some say the most exciting would have to be the wave swing. It's more than your average playground swing. The swing ride, twice. It's fun, but when you first get on it, your stomach starts to hurt, and then it says you get used to it. This year at the pier, the newest ride is the Aero Balloon. Many may think that these fun and exciting rides are meant only for the young, but they can be enjoyed by people of all ages. Oh, absolutely. The, the rides have been beneficial for all of my family members, from the adults to the kids. I've had a great time today, but there's more in Navy Pier than just great rides. There's also free events that take place all summer long. If you want to know more about rides, ticket prices, and activities at Navy Pier, visit NavyPier.com. Reporting live for FSM News, I'm Keith Reed Cleveland. Back to you, Sterling and Melanie. Thanks, Keith. Unfortunately, we have to take a short break. Hope you've been enjoying our show so far. Make sure you stay tuned in to FSM News. We have something iconic to show you after the break. We'll be right back. Oh my God, ain't nothing to do on the block. I hate just sitting here. Yeah, and it's hot and it's warm. Tomorrow, man, we can't do this. We gotta go somewhere. Yeah, we gotta do something. Welcome back. There are many attractions in Chicago that expand outside of Navy Pier. Recently, an eye poppy sculpture was revealed downtown. You can check it out anytime throughout the fall on State Street and Van Buren. But FSM's own Shamisia Davis will show it to you right now. Enjoy. Here at Prince School Park, a new outdoor model was created to catch the eyes of many people. This 30 foot tall eye popping sculpture could soon become the center of attention for many people. Here's the story. Many people from all over the world came to view this big eye. I think it's a massive tourist attraction. Uh, we're not from here, we're from England, and we came to see it, so it's a nice place to just hang. There are some people that feel as though this piece of artwork is one of a kind compared to Chicago's other models. There's nothing really like it anywhere. There may be a lot of art around here, but there's nothing else like this. As you can see, this sculpture is gaining a lot of attention, and some people think that it will be the talk of the town for quite a long time. It seems like Chicago public sculpture, people talk about it a lot, even the things that have been here a really long time. So I would imagine probably people will talk about it for a while. Wanting to keep himself in the public eye, the artist modeled the sculpture after his own eye to create what he would call a wow effect. Chicagoans won't be saying bye to this giant eye anytime soon. Sterling and Melanie, you guys can lay your eyes on it for yourself from now until October. I'm Shamisha Davis, live at Prisca Park. Back to you. Thanks, Shamisha. We'll definitely check that out. Navy Pier is not only fun for its visitors, but it's also entertaining for its teen employees. When we come back from this short break, we will give you more information about teen jobs here at the pier in Teen Talk. Don't go anywhere. You won't want to miss it. Hi, 
Free Spirit Media is not only a positive way for us teens to express ourselves, it's also a fun and exciting job. Being here at Free Spirit Media, I have met many new people and learned many new things about the field I aspire to become a part of, broadcast journalism. As a teen, it is very important to have a job that you enjoy. So, our FSL Teen Talk reporters went out and explored fun jobs for teens here at Navy Pier. And I'm Raven White, and welcome to Teen Talk. Nearly 38% of teens work during the summertime in Chicago. Have you ever wondered how to make your summer entertaining while working? Some teens have a really cool opportunity to work right here at Navy Pier, where we decided to see what makes some of their jobs exciting. Take, Take a look. look. I feel it's worth working here because uh, the pay is good, and I get to be, you know, interacting with people all the time, and I like to interact with people and talk and get to meet new people every day. really good for my first job. Uh, it's a really good experience because it's, uh, it teaches you a lot of things about uh, working in retail. There are many different ways of making a summer job interesting while working in Navy Pier. Reporting live for FSM News from Navy Pier, I'm Raven White. And I'm Sierra Newman. Back to you. Thanks Raven and Sierra for that information. Like all good things, our show must come to an end. We thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't worry, we'll be back next week from a new location, bring you more exciting stories and teen talk. See you next week. Peace. Peace. This is FSM2. I'm Amber Ellis from Free Spirit Media News. Right now we're live here at CBS2. We just got a lab tour in one of their trucks. It was awesome. I never seen anything like it. Here's the group behind me. Everyone say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> And right now we're actually in front of one of the trucks, the biggest truck actually. And so far we've been enjoying ourselves, so take a look at what we saw here. The first thing, this mast here, this goes up 52 feet in the air. And then we edit on a computer, everything's transferred into here, so like what did you see Susan's package? Mm -hmm. Did I, I hope I didn't swear or anything, right? <laughs> I'm sitting here with one of our reporters, Shakiva Ransom. Hi everyone, I'm Shakiva Ransom, and currently I'm studying journalism at the Northwestern University campus, and I'm looking forward to this year's Free Spirit Media News. I'll be back soon. See you guys. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society. This week, we are here live from Navy Pier. Stay tuned to FSM News. We have more entertaining news coming Oh, this makes me mad. Reach back! Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hi, I'm Sierra Newman, and I'm Raven White, and welcome to Teen Talk, where we decided to... Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> this 30-foot tall, eye-popping, ah. 